Welcome back, my hypersexual beings. It's your favorite DIY Dom, Domina Gray. All right, I am so excited to be done with this project. It took forever. So I'm calling this the Domina Gray's Vac Web because of its design. As you can see behind me, how it is attached to the bed. It looks like a giant spider web, right? Now, with this, I want to mention several things really, really quick before we even jump into the rest of this. Number one, if you have no idea the therapeutic benefits of this thing, I have made an entire podcast episode on Spotify, Domina Gray, during the day. I will make sure to link that below so that you can check it out so you understand the therapeutic benefits behind why this thing is so freaking amazing, all right? Next thing, I have created an entire supplies list for this. Please follow it because if you don't, you're gonna run into problems. And I created this, it's on my blog, dominagray.com. It's free to view, the whole thing is free. <laughs> you're gonna go by that supplies list and there's also diagrams and measurements on exactly how I made this and even where to apply your adhesive, the whole nine. So make sure you read this entire list first and the diagrams before you begin this project so you don't make any mistakes. I have already worked out the kinks so that you don't have to. <laughs> so please avoid making those mistakes. And I've already made a video on how to choose your latex. Please go check that out also. With that supplies list, I made some mistakes when I first started this project because I did not have everything that I needed. And my whole thing is about making, you know, S&M equipment on a budget and I did not do good on my budget. So that is why I made you guys the supplies list so that you're not overspending and you have the things that you need instead of doing what I did and running to local stores really broke the bank for me. I should have just ordered everything off of the internet, but I was so excited to get this thing done. I definitely went over budget. So I spent over a thousand dollars making this. And that is because of running to the local stores. Now, if you go based off of the supplies list, it should be around $550 for you to make this. Now, you might already have some of these things at home, so if you have things off of the supplies list, that will be very beneficial to you and it should not cost you 550, but I wasn't sure if people would have everything that they absolutely needed and that's why I made a full supplies list. And with that being said, on there, it's printable. And if you try to view it from your phone, it's not, the PDF won't show up. You're gonna have to view it from your desktop. And the same thing with the diagrams if you needed to like print off the diagrams, you have to view it from your desktop, just an FYI. Now, like I said, follow the list and it has everything from the tools that you'll need to make it and this total even includes purchasing your latex. I went through canal rubber as you probably have already seen in the first video of me choosing my latex. But now I want to talk about the main features with this and why it is so freaking cool. I reached out to my subbies and asked them a bunch of questions about problem areas, things they did like, things they didn't like. I am on, um, what is it? There's subreddits and stuff for DIY S&M equipment. I've been on those. I've looked through other people's feeds and stuff like that to see like what are the problem areas, blah, 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 whatever. You get the point. So with the vac web, like I've already mentioned, you can see how it's attached to the bed. And I put two examples too. So you do have the option for feeding rope through the side, or you can do this chain mess or chains and you can add the um, carabiners to it. But with this design too, you can attach it to literally anything. So you can see the example behind me, you can put it on the cross, you can attach it to a table, and I even have chains on the ceiling and I've attached it to that, which is super freaking cool. With the outer edges, 
I used ratchet straps and I want to point this out because you're going to see this in the videos coming up that I use ratchet straps. You don't have to use ratchet straps. You can use the same cotton straps that you use to do the airflow. All right. And then you're going to use your grommets to put along the edges so that you can attach it to things like how it's attached to the bed right now. I wanted to make sure to mention that in the very beginning. The next thing is it has a head hole. There are so many benefits to this because I had a lot of people that were like, I would love to try it, but I'm claustrophobic and I just don't want my full face encased inside of it. It just makes me uncomfortable. So I did the head hole, which I absolutely love because you can use different breath play methods like the, back, the gas mask. We have the other latex breathing masks or even like a gimp mask. I really like having the head hole because I have so many more options for breath play instead of just having a traditional breathing tube. Now, with that being said, when it comes down to the breathing tube port, it's really easy to install one and put a tube into it. And I will show that later. But at the very bottom of the back bed, you can see that there is a zipper. The airtight zipper was the hardest part of this. If you use the wrong adhesives and you don't go based off of my blog, I guarantee you're going to get it wrong and it's going to cost you more money in the long run. Follow the list. I made it for a reason to help you guys out. All right. With the triangle bottom, it makes it so when they're standing, they have room for their feet and they don't accidentally rip the latex. Another thing about this, I had a lot of people say they didn't like getting inside of a vac bed because it smashed their toes and it smashed their feet. So having this extra material down here for their feet apparently makes a huge difference. And I will be putting a breathing port at the end of this. So if I want to clamp off the head hole, I can. And then when they're inside of this with a breathing tube, I have easy access immediately to their head if I need to get them out of it. So that's another really cool feature that I will be adding into this. Now, I've already mentioned this is an airtight zipper. We have our triangle bottom and all of those features. And we also have the vacuum port right here that you can attach your vacuum and I put on the supplies list in case you want to travel with this or maybe you don't have a regular vacuum I guess a lot of people just have <laughs> like the what is it the little Roombas and stuff so if you don't have a vacuum you can get this little guy and it comes in the kit with the vacuum bags that you would store things inside of. And if you want to travel with this, you can fold this up, put it inside of the vac bed or the vac bags that you get with this little kit and you can suck it down and take it with you when you're traveling. And then you also have this when you're traveling if maybe you're, I don't know, you're in a hotel room or something like that. So you don't have to bring an entire vacuum with you. I put a lot of thought into this y'all. <laughs> So this piece would just attach to here and you can suck the air out. Now, let me, I took some notes. Okay. The flexible airflow on the inside. The way that I created this airflow, and I already did a comment response to this in another video. If you want to check that out, I'll just put it up here. Um, with that, you will be using the same cotton straps that you'll be using around the outer edges on the inside and you will just take this and line it along the whole inside piece and you can attach it with latex or I mentioned in that video magnets, which I don't know where I, okay, here they are. So that you can actually use magnets to attach it to the inside in case you want to take this out quicker to clean it. For example, I'm a dom, 
I might be using this multiple times in a day. So I need to be able to take these pieces out so I can clean it appropriately before the next session. Okay. Is that everything? I don't know. I think so. Oh, another thing with the airflow. I want to mention this. The reason why I did not do a bone structure is because I wanted to be able to attach it to different things. And another problem, here is a picture. Notice how the inner, those tubes are, the holes are actually being covered by the latex. So it's not going to suck all the way down and people will have to like wiggle around to get all the air to completely release from the vac bed. That is why I didn't want to use the tubes and also it's going to restrict me from adding it or doing different things or being able to put it on different objects. That is why, because we don't want those holes to get covered. That's why this method is so great because when you're inside of it, that piece is all the way around you. And as long as your fingers and your feet are touching that, it's going to suck all the air completely out in a way. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and give a close up. Let's do a close up of what this thing looks like because it is so freaking cool. Here is your close up. I wanna mention really quick, this is duotoned. Both sides are transparent, so you can see the person through this on the smoky gray, but you see them a lot better on the natural latex. We have the head hole here. I made this piece adjustable. It's not necessary, and I'm not posting that on my blog. I just showed you guys how to do the traditional way instead of this, because it's not really necessary. We have the strap down the side reinforced all the way through the edge. And you can see I put grommets so that you can attach it to different things. So this is one method with the chains. Here's the other side. And this is why I call it the back web because of that. And then moving into the bottom, we have our airtight zipper, the triangle piece and the vacuum port. But yeah, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Let's throw some balloons in here so I can show you what it looks like when it sucks down. Here's your example. I am extremely pleased with how well this little vacuum worked. I have been using a shop vac and this worked just as good as the shop vac. Only complaint, cord is a little short. You might need a extension cord depending on where you're using this at. But it looks gorgeous, works beautifully. As you can see, it's holding its suction. Now, I guess we can just go ahead and jump into the rest of this footage. I am super excited about this. Please don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, Check out my website, dominagray.com, and don't forget to go check me out on Spotify if you wanna hear more about my life during the day. All right, so that's Domina Gray during the day. Can't wait to have you guys back here soon. Her name is Domina Gray. She's a dominatrix here to play. Domina, she's the name you'll say. Whips and chains, she'll make you stay. Tie you up, make you hers tonight In her hands you'll lose the fight Begging for more, can't resist her ways